Hey everybody, what's going on? Baru here, back inside of Bunny Was Great Birth, and this is actually going to be my tournament match against Stake in Balls of Steel. Commentary provided by Richard Hammer and Bizsnap. You can find links to their channel as well as a link to the Balls of Steel um, channel itself in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching this, and hey, if you enjoy it, be sure to hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, yeah, enjoy the match. And, uh, let me know what you think. I've raced both these guys, I would say. It should be pretty close, honestly. As long as uh, Baru doesn't put up another 13-minute time. <laughs> that was a crazy time. Seven collar revives twice in a row? He had, uh, what was it? Poly... Poly start, Infestation 2, and Little Brimstone. <laughs> So yeah, it was real. It was real fast. That's pretty fast, yeah. Yeah, uh, I couldn't argue that. No matter what. Here we go. Capricorn. No one's gonna start Capricorn, probably. Just me. Hmm? Just me. You start it? I usually look around on it. Yeah, I know it's it, that early, I probably would have given it a shot. I mean, you don't need to when you're both still resetting. But yeah, nobody really starts it. It's not that it's a great item with something from your curse room. If you get yeah, a Cinderella or a pentagram I mean, or a mark pack. Tier delay. Yes, tier delay. It's got a nice tier size to it. <laughs> it's the reason you started. I uh, know you. Tier delay in size. It's a little bit of damage. It's it's really not a bad item. I mean, it's. Oh, it's not a bad item at all. The best of the, the all stats as well. A little bit. The best of the all stats. I mean, obviously, I don't count Magic Mushroom as an all stats because it's. There's a death touch. Magic Mushroom is all about. You're a little ahead on that one now. Okay, I'm ahead of you now. Yep. Okay. Magic Mushroom is all about the multiplier. Who cares about the other stats? Yeah, basically. <laughs> it doesn't even give you a tears up. Yeah, exactly. Bar is going to peak this pact, I suppose, seeing that death touch. I love to see how things have changed with the racing. Pack was a start when we first started in the tryouts and the first practicing. Everyone was starting packed. And now it's a now peak it's at a best. it's a peak. Only being point five damage, man. Eh, I think the combination of damage and tears is good. Sagittarius, that's going to bring it together. I think you are ahead on that one too. Dang, still, I even waited. <laughs> I waited to say that. All it's right. funny how it changes based on who it is, because yeah, I was ahead of you on the last ones. Yeah. Sagittarius, though, that brings it together. It's a mini Death's Touch. Definitely. He doesn't have the tier size. He doesn't have quite as much damage. But he has he has damage, tears, and piercing. I think the tears up almost makes up for it. It's just the tier size at this point. Yeah. Yeah, I would, I would honestly say that... I, I wish I could start Sagittari Sagittarius more often because piercing is so damn good and has so many great combos and in this game. speed up, right? And the speed. It's a oh, solid item. It is a solid item. Ooh. Sorry, I need to cool it. I wonder if I can, like, increase my delay somehow. I can't, but hey, that's a good item. Now, it's the same amount of damage up uh, total that uh, Death's Touch is without the tears down. He's still just missing the tear size, but now that's it. Not even damage. Can't get the Tinted Rock now. But he doesn't entirely need it. He's only lost a half heart so far. So this is uh, Stake's second boss, I believe, right? Yes, it is. So he's going to make it first to the Devil Room. See what it is. We see a pact here, maybe. If he gets a two or three room, 
two or three item devil room pack would be worth taking. Depending on what the other one is, I suppose. Because if you get a guppy piece, it's probably worth uh, going guppy piece roll. Especially if it's used. Ooh, I like this devil room so far. I like that play as well. I swear that thing has stopped dropping batteries. <laughs> I would almost grab Spirit of the Night there. I'm a huge fan. I think I'm, flight's really valuable. I know one heart is scary, but if you're going to have one heart, give me one heart when I'm flying in Spectral, and Spectral Death Touch I mean, is real nice as well. I mean, he's got piercing with that, too, so yeah, exactly. Spectral would be even safer than it already was. But Little Brim. Little Brim. What can you do? Very big pickup. He's got two very, very good items. And he's got potential. God, I love little brimstone for rooms where you can just knock down half and the enemies got, in one it's shot. Got so much clearing early. Baru handled the haunt perfectly. Oh my gosh, look at this devil room. Oh my, the triple! He pulled Guppy in one devil room. This guy. This guy. He's behind right now, but he won't be for long. Piercing flight. This guy. I. I mean, <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy. That's all you can say. I'm glad he rolled the shot there instead of his item room. I he mean, stake can keep. This point. Stake can keep up. Oh, he can keep up for now. For he now, he just needs to make something soon. Yes. He didn't get a guppy touch there in his first devil room, I believe. He did get one. He got one. Yeah, a tail. Tail, right? He also got the tail. Yeah, in the chest. tail in the chest. So he's got he's got a little bit of time. His build bought him that time. He doesn't have the Devil Room chance, though, does he? And he seems to have taken red heart damage here. I don't think he has yet. That's why he's playing so safe in this room. Okay, yeah. He took red heart damage in the going in and out of that curse room on the last floor without a soul heart. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is. For a rules card. I hate that card so much. It's so dumb. It's... And you have to unlock it. That's my favorite part. Yeah. It's a challenge I mean, to unlock it. What's not to love about it? I would jump on that soul heart when you've just lost your devil deal. Maybe he's going to save it and come back and buy it later. He can't afford to keep losing deals. That's not too far to walk to go back for that soul heart. He definitely can't lose deals right now at all. Looking at his opponent's build, he may have the potential, but he doesn't have the build. And Bar is cleaning up. He is just flying through. As long as he makes sure to check his shops to get mapping, He's good. Not too much in his devil room, really. He didn't go for the soul heart. It was only two rooms away. You're going down with all red hearts again. I mean... Guess he's in a hurry to keep up, and he's confident that he can avoid damage. But, I don't know. I think that amount of safety for that little time loss, probably worthwhile. Yeah. Or you could have just bought it right then and there. If you're that confident you're not going to take damage, just buy it right then and there. Also true. Yeah. Agreeing with Baru's plays here. Too bad for him he didn't have a battery in there. He rolled the dark matter on the last floor. I probably would have taken it when I was a kitty. I mean, any damage helps. Yeah, any damage when you're cat. I, as much as I hate dark matter, I was talking about yesterday, when you have those things that multiply your damage, it's really hard to say no to damage. Very true. I don't think it'll hurt him too bad. Midas Touch. Maybe help him make money, but he doesn't really want to be coming into contact with enemies right now. He doesn't have a ton of health yet, and he doesn't need to He doesn't be have the dead him. cat either. One of the rare cats without it. That's also a good point. A Judgy Bomb for stake there. That'll help. Should give him a really good shot at a Caves 2 deal here. Taking time to bomb for resources. I appreciate that. He's in a hurry, but as long as he makes this devil room, he can be totally okay. 
if he's lucky. He should or mapping here in this shop. That's mapping what scares me with ooh, I like his item ooh, room. Ooh, yeah, big item room. He was expecting not to care. I know, he walked in just assuming this will be shit. Shop is uh, pretty nice. Yeah, I mean we've seen yeah, this is one of the faster brimstone. builds we've seen is little brimstone being not so little. Definitely a competitor now. The biggest fear I have is Baru making mapping because he's also got a bunch of money and he doesn't have to worry about throwing his roll. Oh, jeez. Not a bad devil room. He doesn't have to worry about throwing his rolls into his item rooms or devil deals, really, because he's already... Taking the placenta. He only had the one red container. I don't... I just can't... I can't... It's not Polaroid. That. Oh, wait, this is Polaroid. This is Polaroid. Sorry, yeah. I yeah. don't know. I mean, I mean, I take it in a situation. I would have taken it in the same situation. All right. Um, I don't want to miss Devil Deal items, though he's seen the majority of the good ones. He also has Judas's tongue. Yes. So that does buy him another one guaranteed. Most people skip it, though. You are correct in that. Most of the players. I would skip it. I invariably skip it on chest runs. But the reason we don't like placenta, if you're wondering, is it. Let's it make it so you can't control your health, which will destroy your Polaroid procs later. He shouldn't need it with Guppy though. I would have done Definitely the same. Not. I would have done the same thing because I would not be counting on my Polaroid proc in any way as a cat. And that's fair. I can see yeah. that. I think I'm just overly biased against Overly that biased of placenta. I'm in, I admit it. Casper just said he's gonna take placenta just to mess with your head. <laughs> Fine. I'll make sure to tear him up for it. I well, hope it when he uh, loses his Polaroid proc. Yeah, I hope it ruins his Polaroid for him. It definitely. Lose, in, certain, in a lot of situations, losing your Polaroid proc can slow you way the hell down, if not kill you. We've seen it kill people. Um, so it is, oh, it yeah, is something definitely. worth pointing out that you know there are a lot of times where placenta is skippable. Definitely. That battery luck, though. Aru's getting a runaway run here. Let's see what's in his shop. It's pretty good. Honestly, it's, it's not mapping. But exactly, it's... exactly. He just spent all his money. I, I mean, I would have counted with yeah, that battery, with that battery laying source, with that battery laying there. Like I would say, that was that he was skipped three cents on the floor so far. That's what's bugging me. Three cents that puts him one cent away from the half off item. If you yeah. wanted to roll it, if you want to roll for battery, mapping as well, he can yeah. go for mapping. He makes so mapping know. as well. Then it's a runaway. There's the last cent. I don't know. I'm I'm bothered by that. I mean, cool. You don't have curses, but you don't see any. A lot of players, when they have the bigger build, are gonna you know make just take advantage of that and go fast instead of looking for that little extra stuff to seal it away. And that's where I feel. Last shop too. I yeah. don't know. I think it's worth the time this time. And a battery laying there. Yeah. Yeah. Like. I don't know. Mapping is really, really un unreliable, but there's also giant flies and spiders. Two, well, that's four items that he could be looking for. Yes, it is. But they're both at mom at the same time. Little Brimstone can keep up with this, and they both got Krampus. Not so little Brimstone. Yeah, not so Little Brimstone can keep up with this. Good point. Look at the size of that peeper, that sack dagger. You're not so little brimstone. I don't like that he didn't check his, check his boss rush there. Yeah, I also Undefi was undefined say man. He doesn't, have, he doesn't know he has a teleport. Like maybe that pill is, maybe it's not. I don't know if he sees. He's afraid of losing yet. items. I don't think the fear of losing items is worth a damn. I don't think that's yeah, that's not important at all. If he had seen a teleport, yeah, huge, especially when it's this close. When it's this fucking close, yeah. And like he's got such a strong build, he can afford that kind of uh, YOLO on his mapping since he doesn't have mapping anyway if if steak gets in there with that dagger and takes advantage of it sad I think thing he is he doesn't have flight still though, keep so up. he can't quite do that as uh, as strongly but you know it'll probably work out and again this is shovel knight music not pokemon <laughs> you'd same thing Which this soundtrack is actually pay your own price. Well, now we see what his pill was. Not uh, not a teleport, that's for sure. But we still don't know what was in that boss rush. He 
Nice little damage up there. Another deal. He needs to go for cat, almost. I don't know. It's hard to roll that many damage ups. How do you feel about that, then? That he didn't touch the head? Yeah. I'm salty. Did he? Did he have the health, too? He had two heart. Oh, maybe he only had one heart. I don't remember. Maybe he only had one red heart floors. container. Because it's been two floors of Curse of the Unknown. So he probably did it because he couldn't. He but. probably didn't. I mean, that's got to be the case, right? I would think so. I would think so for sure. Problems thinks he had one heart for sure. All right. I would trust right. you. I'm cool with that. Yeah, I'm cool with that then. That would have made me jump on horror then though, and then reroll. But I don't know his whole health situation. I can't. I can't really comment. Right. I'm not going to say shit until I know his health. Uh, two floors, yeah. Right? If he has a bunch of solars or something, yeah, it's, it's a hard decision. But passing on horror when you know you're getting it—that's a big damage up. That's that's hard to say no to. Guess he's cool with his multiplier and yeah. not so little brim. I don't know. What did he pick up? Packed. I guess he needs the tears, but... And they could have needed the health. Again, I've really forgotten his health at this point. Yeah, that too. Yeah, Chet's... Baru's ignoring a lot of pickups. He doesn't need them very much. No, I mean, even the keys. I think that he really does, like, since he was skipping this stuff earlier, he just needs to keep this pace. Keep I'd... the pressure. Yeah, it was one thing when it was to make, you know, a lot of time with mapping or something like that. But at this point, he's not going to yep. make much time off anything he point, gets. All he needs to do yes. is push. He's got a build that can, and that's what he's got to do to keep ahead. That's why the slow playing happens in the first four floors, usually. Yeah, I mean, both of them are in the cathedral. Baru's finishing it, but... Yeah. It's very it's common. Close. It's very common that you're leaving caves two at ten minutes and finishing at under twenty, taking most of our time early. Pretty bad chest so far. Reroll though. That was not a bad reroll. Not a bad reroll. And it compasses just him. for that single item. It's gonna go left and around, isn't it? Or is he gonna get the dream? I I would expect it to go. Now I wouldn't expect it to go left and around, man. Dude's getting the dream. It, it's a straight shot. It's a four-room chest. Wow. Wow. I'd never have guessed that either. I would have went down and assumed it would split left and around before it would have gone straight four-room chest. The dream right there. I know. And I mean, now Stake's pushing. He's got no health, but he's got a BFF's uh, sack dagger. It's not enough at this point. His build was almost And his there. health was low. His health was low, yeah. Yeah. Because it's low now. And, and he, he picked up health. And he picked up health on that floor, too. So his health was yeah. definitely low. Proper I understand plays. his devil deal decisions. Yep. Proper, proper plays. Good race, though. What was the time on that? Wow, just about 17 minutes again. It's quick. Especially with both of them on such good pace. Yeah, both of them making a really good pace. Can't wait to see what game two's got for us. Yeah, that was a good good build for both players. Definitely. Solid decision making as well, for the most part. Yeah, I guess not a lot I can disagree with. Managed health as well as they could. Well as they needed to. That chest though. That chest was mean. Black Handle was Black Handle was nice. Not having to deal with any of the curses. Here we go. I was really worried we were going to see a big loss on stake side that was just going to put it out that way. 
Baru seeing the body. Is he going to start it? First guy to say no. I guess he's got... He's got plans. <laughs> Just takes item room there. <laughs> Guillotine. It's so good, but... I might start it, honestly. It's, it's, we tried it a lot. <laughs> I think I can manage it. I think there's a couple guys that's great orbital damage. It's got the tear delay. Orbital damage. That's the thing. It's, I think I can manage that. It's pretty good, but y you almost have to find tier rate to go with it. Isn't it a tears up anyway? Not enough. IMO. I've started it quite a bit, and I've done okay with it. I just not happy with it's it. It's a tear delay. Yeah, I know. Okay. That's why you like almost have to find, find tears later. up with it. To make it really strong. Both still feeling things out. Stake's got a teleport. See his reroll. Try it again? I'd say definitely. I mean, even if he's on a half heart, if he dies soon. Yeah, it's not going to cost Aru's him that much time. Resetting. He spent that much time peeking on his, what was it, packed earlier or something? Right. Yeah. yeah. You're either going to tank Since right away or you're going to be all right. He's got the build now. So now there's pressure on Baru, and that's where it needs to be. The game down. Got to put that pressure there. Nice lucky quarter. Oh, I love it. Very lucky quarter. Knows his shop location, too. Nothing better than getting into that shop B1 with enough money. Steam sale, I like it. I also like it. I'm a fan. This build's fallen in place. That, er that early. It's very good. All he needs is key drops now. Baru is still reset. He only had the single item too, so it wasn't really worth coming back for the reroll on. Rather save that reroll. Make sure you can get a reroll in your boss room if you need it. Or you could get that early basement 2 reroll on the curse room or item room. And look at uh, Little Brim going to work on the haunt. He's lining it up real nice. All right, we've got something that Baru's going to push. That's got not bad. That's not bad. I mean, quad shot players. isn't isn't everyone's favorite item, but getting a damage up to go with it. Yeah, it's not the black bad at all. hearts. That's not bad. It's something that you definitely need to see develop, but it's it's good enough for early. Oh, that surprise library. I know. It was a very good surprise. What is what is this strategy that he is... Okay, there you go. He's realizing it. <laughs> You're ahead still. Watch yourself. I know it's hard. I've been there every week that you're not here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was... Uh... He goes ahead and throws the world out there if you're wondering why. World Basement 2, because he wants to take the Joker with him since he got no, a guaranteed deal. I was wondering deal. why he took the book. The book, yeah. I was talking to Chad. Okay. He missed a tinted rock there. Oh, he wanted his key to shop. If he has an empty room, he's not going to get his roll. This is, uh, this is good. Good. When you're down a game, this is exactly what he wants to see. And honestly, if I'm stake right now, what I want to see is my opponent as well. He got, he got trapped into a quad shot because it's a good quad shot start. And it's Some, still not a it's, great item. It's still it's something that normally isn't that fast. Yeah. It That's needs a lot a to make it crazy. Really it needs a lot to make it crazy fast. It's yeah. not like a monstro's long that just needs a couple of items to take off. Quad shot needs a lot. Oh wow, that yeah, troll hurts. That, hurts. that really really. He hurts. took a second to make sure we saw that troll. Yeah. That's... Do you go ahead here or do you pack? I think that. I think that was the right choice. I go ahead because I'm going to lean on Little Brimstone yeah, so hard, I, and I'm greedy. But I could see some other he's people. He's got a steam sale, too. Yeah. 
Exactly. He's got, and I'm greedy, so I'm gonna make, I'm gonna take advantage of that with my compass. I think and... more devil rooms and then steam sale, hoping for BFFs or more mapping. Yeah. Totally fine. And batteries for rerolling with your goat head. I mean, goat head, and then getting more mapping means he can go for devil rooms more exclusively and skip yeah. item rooms if he has to. He doesn't really need to right now, but I think that that was the right play. I agree. And Little Brimstone, I mean, even adding the pack to this right now, your tears still suck in comparison to your Little Brimstone. Yeah, Little so Brimstone your focus still is, all of your damage. Your focus is still on Little Brimstone. Baru is keeping pace, though. He is keeping pace. He got a pretty got a too. Yeah, he got a pretty mediocre deal there, but he did make more damage off Synth Oil. Made some speed off his Speed Ball. I mean, really, he shouldn't be too too disappointed with his quad shot start so far. I mean, as far as quad shot goes, it's good. Yeah, it's not a bad quad shot this early. He just he needs fire rate and he needs something to go with it. Piercing, probably preferably. Piercing would be really nice. Piercing would make it actually able to clear things relatively quickly, which right now it can only sort of do sometimes, yeah. depending on the room. Still not a bad boss room item, which is where it does save you some time. Because you are actually going to get to maximize the four shots. All right, let's see uh, Steak's what we're getting for steak. Not great. Not great, but, you know, at least it sets him up if he keeps getting some damage. And he gets to roll more items out of that pool. He's still got that head to lean on. At some point, uh, he is going to need something other than Little Brim. He has enough money for a shop. I don't so. think he necessarily needs something more than Little Brimstone. I don't agree with that. I think Little Brimstone can take you all the way. I mean, obviously, you're, you're going to get little things along the way. You're going to get a couple little damage ups and stuff. Um, that's what I mean. But I don't think he needs... He doesn't, uh, necessarily, that, he doesn't necessarily have to force Guppy or anything else. No, but I think that Baru has a build where he can overtake just a little Brimstone if he gets just a couple of things. I don't know. With the mapping? I'd like to see that race. I'm surprised he didn't jump on the battery there. The double recharge with Goathead. Maybe. You know, there's... Is he going to get a reroll for his boss room? Is he going to go out of his way run one room? He has to. It's perfect. Okay. It's a big room. Actually, my favorite, one of my favorite things about the go-ahead is you don't have to. Well, that's true. You because you can go to. get it afterwards. He may get a Krampus here since he hasn't seen a Krampus yet. And then get his reroll from room. killing Krampus. Yeah. Oh, wait, he got it anyway. It showed up. Yeah, he did get yeah. it anyway. He was one room properly. The meat take might have been a little risky there. <laughs> wait until you see this. This yeah. hurts. The meat take was risky. I said it right before you said, wait till you see this. <laughs> you got to take Death's Touch, don't you? I would have. But um, evidently that's not that's not a shared thing here. I don't agree. Yeah, I I feel like... the tier. I mean, the tier 8 loss. Already focusing on... And since he has Rotten Baby... Did he take that there? He took a Rotten Baby right there. Hmm? He took Rotten Baby there. Okay. That's what so Death Touch rolled into. Roll. Yeah, well, Death Touch rolled into Rotten Baby. Both of them give the same damage up, so I guess Rotten Baby is no different, but I think Death Touch definitely has more potential there, and you're not dealing with fear. You're dealing I think with the real nice play was the meat pickup, though. Uh, Yeah, then he could have taken both. He could have. He he could, I mean, he could have looked for Or he for... could have taken one, rerolled the other, yeah. and then. Or, you know, taken one, taken meat, rerolled the other. Because the, the situation is the same, regardless. Yeah. You, yeah. right. And definitely it, keeping your options for later. The situation is the same. If you, if you take the meat first, you're saying, I may only be able to take one item. If you're worried about your health and not willing to go down to half a heart for the two items, then you're saying, I may only be able to take one item. So in my mind, the situation's the same. Taking the meat... Taking the meat second gives you more options, no exactly, matter what. Exactly. So I don't think it's the same. I think it's... Well, um, I mean, as far as, like, the health scenario, if you're worried about your health scenario, the amount of items, yeah. But you get to feel out whether or not that second item is worth going to one and a half hearts for. Which, in that case, he wouldn't have gone to one and a half hearts, he would have gone to six. So how do you play this Devil Room? Same way I, he did. I think uh, the very end of that was a bit not 
the strat, personally. Which, which part? Not taking it for the red heart. Oh, you mean he could have rolled pentagram into a red heart deal? Yeah. That was just going too heart. fast. But, yeah. you know, it's something that you th should yeah. think of. You can I roll know. as you pick up the dead cat. He could, he could also um, have intentionally saved his heart for the next one because he feels fine about it. It doesn't matter with Goathead, though. I think you're yeah, giving way too much credit to that so, with Goathead. Because you can just prefer taking that. You can just heart. die and walk in and Kept out. The soul heart because the soul hearts are less common. You can just die and walk in and out. For me, I give up on health on chest runs. I only care about health in dark room runs where you need a little bit more. You do definitely need a little bit. One more. One heart for Baru. Got his own little brimstone to match. Oh dear, that's what he needed. His fiery doesn't look bad anymore. It's not terrible. Is he still one cat piece? Uh, why don't I check the build thing? Yeah. He did, he did get his heal there. He is, he's just on that one. The classic. I, I don't even know in this scenario. Do you just fucking roll it? I, I love Judas's shadow. It's so hard to say no to to have his backup. Gemini? He's got best friends forever. No, he doesn't. I'm just confused why he jokered instead of just running into the yeah, spikes. Why even, why even instead bother? of just running into the spikes, he could have had an extra devil deal in Cathedral. Yeah, yeah. Why yeah. bother? Like you don't need, you don't need Gemini. That's for sure. I would have taken Bloody Lust. I would have taken Bloody Lust if I took yeah. anything there. Bloody Lust is so ridiculous with multipliers. That's also true. Yeah. Oh, man. I think we're seeing some nerves come through here on stake side with trying to just stay ahead oh, and not that, lose. That glitch? You've got the solution to it. No one else has adopted it, I guess. I'm still not perfect at it, but that yeah, that solution think... came from somebody in chat, and I was so mad at that person in chat, I think I even timed him out or banned them. <laughs> <laughs> and then you started doing it because you're like, wait, this is really Maybe bad. No, I gave him the credit, the benefit of the doubt, and untimed out or banned him, whatever it was. And said, you're fucking right. I was just mad. <laughs> but yes, the best solution for those is when you, if you, especially with a charging item, because the problem comes, you want to charge your little brimstone running into the rooms. So if you're running into a room to the right, like he just did, just hold the charge up. And then you can instantly swap and release to the right. Doesn't cost you any time and saves you from those one-shot deaths. Important thing to think about more with one health than with anything else, yeah. but it's always a good thought. I've lose more health, lost more health to those than any enemy in the womb. I agree. I feel the same. Rue's getting a uh, ball of bandages. Not what he wants to see at his health. He definitely wanted to keep a meat there. Being as far behind as he is now. Stake just needs to keep his pace here. I'm the f I like that. I don't have any. Oh. Does he have one or two cat pieces? None. None. Doesn't he? Right. Oh no, he has a well, dead he has cat. A dead cat. Run one. One. Right, then you know I'm okay with that. Probably. I'm, then again, I'm not. I would have taken. Because he he hasn't he had, seen the head. He, that was the yeah, tail. Yeah, and he had the dead cat. He has. Yeah, so he could have he taken the tail, taken died, taken the sin robe. This, yeah. Rolled. Right. Very right. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when your item isn't the head. Well, I hope that doesn't come back to bite him. Love to see a game three. My greedy ass would have taken the tail, died, rolled. That's me, though. And I know that's not <laughs> the normal. He doesn't have the damage. I know that's not the normal strategy. I, he's got a sack dagger and a little brimstone. I'm not shooting anymore. He doesn't have health. I'm not shooting anymore. He doesn't have health. I'm <laughs> Health's a crotch biznap. <laughs> you can't use your sack dagger if every time you get hit for it, you die. Uh, Don't get hit. <laughs> All right, that's fine. He's at the exact same health he was at when he left that deal. Or when he entered that deal. Carry on. <laughs> you know, if you're going to not get hit, I'm fine with that. Got no problems with you playing perfectly. <laughs> hey, man. I'm expecting to take a hit here and there using the sack dagger or the cube of meat. I'm amazed he took the pony. 
that doesn't make sense to me. Not a one heart. Now, see, when I'm worried about my health, my my goal with health is to get to the chest and get a little health there. Roll. <laughs> yeah, with my roll. Like so. he's so close to it too. Why would he want? Why would he not want the roll? He has the keys. I'm worried about his flight and speed. He already had a spoon, though. Yeah, I mean, he does get a speed up, but flight's only so helpful. This late in the game, I feel like flight has most of its value in the caves and the depths. Yeah, the super lusts and stuff that used to get us don't get us anymore. Exactly. I don't know why that is about super lust. Oh, and here is his head. So there it is. Oh. I mean, hey, it was a misplay. I mean, it. I'm not going to call it a misplay because he was just going for something else. He was going for damage instead of cat. I'm not going to call it a he misplay. He needs the cat. He could, but he also could have made damage. And if he's going for tear damage, he'd rather go for tear damage. I'm not going to call it a misplay. I'm going to call it a variation in what's your priorities. He's prioritizing the simpler damage ups. I'm prioritizing the cat. Especially when my opponent's in the depths. If he makes his build work here, fine. You'll give him no credit. You'll give him no no flack. Exactly. He sh I think he should be able to. I think with the five lives, he should be able to. All he's got to do is have one good Isaac run where he gets a good sack daggering in. I don't know and why he he's not bombing through this. without rolling. I don't know why he's not bombing through this room. There he goes. He has to get a good chest without rolling as well. Baru gets infestation too. Oh, boy. Oh, he also has anti-gravity? He does have anti-gravity, that tier delay. Oh, that'll be fun. His fire rate still isn't amazing, it's just not bad. I think at this point... Oh, he ran right into that one. Aru should slow down at this point. Oh yeah. He can't catch him. Definitely not. I think Baru has already, since like last floor. He doesn't have much health either, so yeah. he definitely needs to slow play it. I'm sure he is. That's why he was still on the depths instead of further. You need to push this all the way, Stake. I use my dagger all the way to through the babies. Two lives. He doesn't have a hairball or anything either, so he can't. <laughs> He still has that shadow to back him up at the end. So it will be a, a second hit on this fight. That's he doesn't true. have to That's one. A shadow, not if, to, if you can save uh, the shadow for the chest, though, that would make you feel a lot more comfortable. But this is why I would have definitely taken Bloody Lust over the Gemini, is because right, I knew out, I knew I would have done this. I knew this would have happened to me. But here he is, Shadow. He's got more damage now. It's. I don't know. This is why I would say that the cat not going for the cat was a mistake. Still, I think there's still a play style in that, though. If, if I mean, I personally, again, I would have gone all out for the cat. I would have rolled the sin roll because I would have been leaning on my sack dagger. And the only time I fail a one heart sack dagger attempt is when I get babied and I had enough lives that that wasn't going to happen every time. Isaac can just not spawn babies as it did on that last phase. It spawned just the last set. So let's see what he gets in the chest. He got three items. Pretty bad. Not, not fantastic at all. Really bad hit there. Really bad hit. He's not going to take either of the use items and the homing's only so useful. I feel like that speed has hurt him more than it's helped him. He's just all I mean, over the place. He's, he's all over the place heart. since he got that fast. He's got to get good rooms here. He can't really handle, like... He didn't look at his compass gauge. and he went the wrong way. That bloat wasn't even a necessary fight. Ouch. Two of spades here. Is he going to go back one more to the item. chest first? Is he going to remember the chest? Evidently not, because... I, I don't know. He kind of needs that. He needs it to be good, but not checking it when you're that this far This is ahead, always a struggle for me. Do I go gluttony? Die. Do I go gluttony or do I go sloth? You got to go for health there. I think. 
Yeah, they both can give you health, though. He didn't play the wheel at all, either. You're crazy! You're crazy! I know the gambling I even sucks! Got the fortune teller, man. I know the gambling sucks, but fortune teller... is the Here's best. Here's his double cage. He has the horse. Please horse, now! He didn't need it, he actually dodged it fine. They didn't go in mean directions, but I hope he uses that horse. This is like the best case scenario for having that pony. He's not using He's it. He's not using it. He's handling it without the horse. GG, Steak. GG. He doesn't need it. Still, I'm wondering if he's going to remember that, that, that last, last chest. Because it could be all he needs. It could be. And, like, he knows that his opponent is soul. playing for him to die. That's the only thing that he's and doing. Baru's, he's got the time. Don't you dare, Baru. I know you're a YOLO or my friend. I thought he might go for it, but he's, he's got to count on Steak to die. Yeah, he has to. Big pickup there. Really big pickup. Strength card. I hate this room. I die in this room a lot. There is, uh... There is the death. There is the death. You know what really sucks, though? Is yeah. the bloat room. The only damage oh, he took okay. was in a room he didn't have to go into. Yeah. He didn't awesome. check yeah. his compass. He True was statement. definitely feeling the pressure there, man, because... There yeah, was a I, lot of I mean, little mistakes. He did I know not want to agree on this, but I consider the Guffy thing a misplay. It would have been a cat. It would have made a difference. And I mean, not going back for the chest was a definite misplay. No. I felt like he was just so rushed to get his win, making lots of decisions to try to get his win, so he wasn't down, you know, out down and out of this thing. That probably has to do with it. Yeah. Being Bobby down a game can still already. Die, though, so this can still be like a competitive race. I don't think Baru will die, but he can. I think Baru. He's even could, gambling yeah. though, so you know he's not afraid to take it slow enough to get what he needs. So I don't expect him to die, but it is possible. He's even getting a soul heart there. Like, look at that luck. Is this proptosis? <laughs> yeah. Too late, man. Too late. Maybe. Maybe. If he gets some explosive start here, and Baru makes enough mistakes, I think it's unlikely. I love that he just spent all that money. <laughs> uh, silly, silly Baru. See, this is where when we said Steak didn't gamble, like, Baru's gambling on the shit machines that have really low chance of giving you anything worth a damn. If anything here, yeah. you're hoping for a Scatoli that you can re-roll. He had, he had the fortune teller. Yeah. That was Steak had the fortune teller. Not putting the 14 cents into it seemed crazy to me. Cards, Absolutely. hearts, trinkets. Definitely could have changed everything. I forget that a lot too, though. I start the Just bombing. Just instantly before. bomb it from habit. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Still, in his situation, it's at least something that should be in his mind. Back of his mind, just keeps making money off this thing. <laughs> He's not making the health though. He's just wasting time. Proptosis torn photo. It's solid. He made one heart, didn't he? Yeah, he got one. He got one soul heart out of that? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that would lead, that would make me keep going, too. <laughs> Gambler's fallacy, man. And I, I don't think Baru would uh, have any beef with me saying. I mean, Baru knows he's not the best dodger in the Binding of Isaac. So he's a couple of bad rooms, and he's in a really bad situation himself. Which is what Stake's got to... Stake reset? What happened? I missed it. I'm sorry. I get distracted when a guy's in the basement. And a guy's in the womb. Because that's a build that you can you can do it. I mean, you're not catching up, so you just need a build that's that's good when he if he dies. I'm surprised that Baru isn't mashing his firing instead of holding it still. I feel like that's gonna mess you up a lot more. He is sometimes throwing him out there, but yeah, he's not giving it the full mash, the mashed potato. I think that if anything, that's gonna hurt him more than red heart damage. He took red heart damage on that floor. That's nice. why he reset. 
he still could have gone for it. Yeah. I don't know. I think that that build is. He's got plenty. Trying. He's got plenty of time. Yeah. Because if if Varu's gonna keep slow playing like this, it's gonna take him a while to die. Like even if he does right. die, it's gonna take a minute. I think that's another one of those things where you feel in a rush and you need something to happen. I guess. Yeah. Feeling the pressure. No, we were debating that a lot with Rex. Rex, after his race too. What do you do when you're in that situation? You know, you've got to just go off your own style. I'm so used to being that type of player, and not. You know, I don't get the pressure situations anymore, and I'm not competing in this level. I'm just racing the... I've raced all these guys pretty much. I think everyone that's raced today... No, I haven't raced the meal. Um, so, yeah, I mean, my strategies are pretty set in stone, but that does definitely affect you being in this pressure situation of knowing your chance at over $1,500 worth of cash and prizes is going out the window. <laughs> if you don't win this race... This is winner's bracket, though. You got another chance. You don't want to drop early. That's a no, huge disadvantage don't. to drop early. More races. That means it means not only does not. it mean you're in the loser's bracket where you can get eliminated. It's more races. I mean, that's the big the big difficulty that a lot of people don't realize. It is more races being in the loser's bracket. Yeah, but if it's between plays and yeah. How you play something, and I don't want to. I want to go fast. I don't want to lose when I'm not even fully out of the tournament. Yeah, I don't know. And Baru is down to one and a half hearts here. He's got a Jera rune. If he can make it to the chest, I've got all the he's faith got in the five world. Keys. I, I, but he's got his dice. So five keys is a, a lot oh, better yeah. situation than Stake was in. Definitely. He's got bombs, and he's got He also has the collar. Varu claims that his collar respawns him seven times every time, so... Every time? Every I mean, time. All right, he'll be fine then. Yeah. He can definitely make uh, make Isaac die in seven tries. I get so panicked watching from here. Oh. Down to half a heart. The horse in the face. I don't know why he didn't bomb out of this room. He has ten. Was he That's planning on trying to incorporate them in his Isaac fight? You don't need 10 with a ball of bandages and a Polaroid proc. You're not using that many bombs with that build in the Isaac fight, in my opinion. It's too risky with that low health, unless you're so sure that you've got seven respawns. <laughs> Stakes got, what, a tech point five now? Got to see his, is this his first deal, I think, yes? Yeah, first deal. Red chests. Three red chests. Not a bad one, though. He did touch a piece. Roll isn't uh, roll isn't spectacular. I think it's great. too late to reset now. Yeah, I mean this is worse than his last build. See, you probably disagree, but I yolo the pills in that in that room because I'm hoping for a 48 hour energy when there's something no, shit. I think you I think you have to. When there's something shit fine. sitting on my pedestal. And then tech point five isn't hurt by tears down. Also true. A dollar no, sixty nine from Andreas. This was so the most moist here. race. Good show. Thank you very Those much. Ear blocking. Oh, he has the he has the, the hairball. Um, hairball. He's not using he's it. He's not playing it. No. It's possible he hasn't practiced using it. Not comfortable enough it. with it. Yeah, I would definitely be praying on the hairball. You know what happens when I pray for the hairball? I get RNG beamed because I'm standing still. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you you don't really get those on the edges though. As long as you position it for the edge. For the edge, for the wall. It's less like, likely. if you're on the the door spot on the side, though. I feel like it goes everywhere but the doors on the side. Same way that the room sweep goes everywhere but, like, the doors in the corners. He's doing a but good job here. only bottom doors. He made it to the easy phase. Now he just needs to not mess anything up. I'm good with him using um, anti gravity here. The number like, one here, it's helpful. The number one mistake made in this phase on the Isaac fight is being too close to the wall when the beams spawn. We or too greedy <laughs> when Isaac comes back in. Too greedy. But the number one mistake we've seen in the tournament. Oh God! Oh God! Yeah, that's, when Isaac does that, that's just the worst. That's when you know you have no damage. <laughs> Isaac doesn't wiggle unless your damage sucks. Let's see what his uh, six chests give him. It's 12 items. His roll is not up. Oh, he, you're right. He threw it That's at something in the cathedral. What did he roll? I don't know. I missed it. 
This is a. I mean, you don't take any of them. I think. I think you just. I don't take any. You might take Daddy if you're scared, but I don't think it's worth. He's thinking about this D4. I think that's real ballsy. It is. It will give him health. Will give guaranteed. Him health. It's not guaranteed, but it will. It. It. Yeah. It's as close to guaranteed. But if he's got seven seven revives on his. Uh... Oh man, he's gonna do it. Picking up the items, rolling everything. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's not it's not the worst thing. It's that's the worst. That's really bad. I wouldn't have taken Aquarius I don't know, there. You're it's kinda of funny. I think it can work. It's I guess, I guess he's going for a D four the electromagnet. What's his respawn? The electromagnet. I don't know, I'd recharge the D four. I'd want off that electromagnet. <laughs> Oh man, this is fantastic. He though. does have I one life. Yeah, what is his respawn? Is it on? What is his respawn? We gotta know. Does your build tracker tell us it that? Sh it should. More stuff? It's just a regular tracker. Let's see. Judas' is shadow. Wow. Oh, that's so lucky. Judas' is shadow. Nice teleport on his cursed charge eye, too. Oh. It's Judas's shadow, boys and girls. Here There's it comes. There's and he sees what it is. Let's. <laughs> Weird how it pushed him that way off that teleport too. God, the strange attractor. It's so bad right now. Stake with an angel room. That teleport and then the I'm... death put him even closer. Oh, what luck. Or even further from his start, I should say. Not necessarily closer to his boss, but further from his start, which right. would lead you to believe it's closer. Oh, man, look at this. Look at this. What's the card, baby? What's the card? Not great. So he... He just can't... He's the problem is, if he gets hit, he's going to he's gonna teleport. He's got to be really careful not to get teleported. That's true, he does. If he gets teleported... He doesn't have amazing damage, even. Like, for having Judas's Shadow, this isn't great. How is he getting it to spam so fast and not charging it? That is a good question. He got hit, but it what wasn't a charge. Gimp? Did he roll into Gimpy? No. I oh, maybe. I don't know. Because he got a soul heart drop randomly from getting hit, it seemed. Oh, he did? There's the win. <laughs> wow. He did it. What a way to win. Good play on picking everything up before D4. He though. did roll into Gimpy, yep. I, I appreciate that he picked everything up there. I liked that play. Gave him the most chance for health. Oh, it was the Libra that was letting him spam like that and why his damage still ah, sucked. It was the Libra. Cool. There it is. Oh, he even rolled into Cricket's head too. Yeah, Cricket's head Libra. <laughs> his damage sucked for a Judas of Shadow and a Cricket's head. Yeah, Libra, thank you. But it let him spam so he didn't accidentally yeah, he didn't get teleported. As much. Yeah, he didn't accidentally get teleported. That is a really lucky roll, man. GG Steak, or Baru and Steak. I guess they both get a GG. Yeah, of course. That was quite a race on both ends. That was a fun race to watch, for sure. That was <laughs> something else. <laughs>